I used to call them granny units, but they could be the answer to the state's housing crunch. The governor has approved them. Now two East Bay communities want to fast track them. KPIX 5 Juliet Goodrich is in Pleasant Hill where they're talking about it right now. Juliet. That's right. The Pleasant Hill City Council will be talking about it, and they're calling it an urgency ordinance to get that language moving to streamline the process, make it easier for people, and it's already working. They call them granny units or in-law units, you name it. And now coming to a backyard near you, you may see more of them popping up. Now that Pleasant Hill City Council will be expediting the permit process. Well, this is an example of a backyard cottage or an in-law unit. The homeowners could actually rent it out down the road. And what this ordinance does, this emergency ordinance, is give units like this the green light to go ahead and build cheaper and with less red tape. Appealing to many homeowners like Linda Turner, who has lived in Pleasant Hill for 40 years and has space to build, but is held off because of the expensive and time-consuming permit process. The lots are pretty big, so I do definitely have room for it in the back. So it's just access wood side. We would go down, extend the driveway or whatever you have to do. Real estate attorney Matt Cody says streamlining the permit and approval process will help create more affordable housing. The idea is that this will generate housing supply. Uh, it's not going to fix the housing crisis, uh, but it will make uh, affordable options available to people in a number of different settings. It could be a garage that's converted to a, a, a housing unit. Turner can understand why some may say, not in my backyard. She says there does have to be some rules and regulations. I like it as long as they're not going to build two-story place as long as it keeps the general, you know, look at the neighborhood the same. So tonight, the city council will be discussing this urgency ordinance, and then tomorrow night in Walnut Creek, they will be doing the same thing. Also, another note to this, Veronica, the property owner does not have to live on the premises in this new ordinance as they do now. And you can see behind me real quickly, I think it flew into my shot. This is a live egret here in front of the uh, city hall that the producers were asking about. Just wanted to give you a little side note as well. Back to you.